This is how switching themes boosted my SEO, made my blog easier to manage, and ultimately changed everything for my income. Now, those are bold claims to make, I know, and a theme alone is not just going to make you more money, but when your strategy is anything that requires a good website, user experience, loading time, a theme is going to help. I switched themes because my old theme, it was a Genesis one that I had like bought randomly online, was loading in over eight seconds and failing core web vitals. And while you can proceed with that, and I did get into Mediavine with it, I immediately noticed that I was not making great money compared to my friends. And that's because everything was taking too long to load. It also meant that I was getting kind of stuck with rankings because like all the algorithms, especially for Google and ChatGPT search, they care about are your users enjoying themselves and no one enjoys a slow website. So today we're going to talk about the theme that changed it all for me. And I'm super excited to talk about some of their block additions that I think people don't realize exist or what you can do with them. Um, but honestly, we're, I'm trying to keep this short. I could be here for two hours raving about this theme. So let's get going. This video is brought to you by Cadence. They actually reached out to me to sponsor it because they know how much I love it because I do not shut up about it. <laughs> Cadence theme is a lightweight, speedy, SEO friendly and like user friendly theme. It comes with Cadence blocks that are so easy to use. It's accessible, it's lightweight, it passes core web vitals 99% of the time unless you've added some insane animation. So it's one of those themes that just makes everyone happy. Your users will love it because it's easy for them to understand and navigate your site and it's fast algorithms love it for the same reason your users do and you'll love it because you won't be slamming your head against the keyboard trying to like figure out some weird um, like code editor system you can get cadence theme for free to try it out you can also get the cadence blocks plugin it's a free plugin that works on top of any other theme i really recommend cadence pro that gives you way more customization way more features and makes you basically like a fancy ass web designer without needing to know how to code literally anything now i'm gonna harp on the seo for a second but i do want to just take a moment to say you can make your site so pretty. <laughs> so you can design whatever you want with Cadence. This is one site I just built myself, but I also had a designer friend who is a little bit better about like seeing the visual come and create one for me here. Now, both of these themes are speedy. I've tested them with Core Web Vitals. They pass Core Web Vitals, and this one is loading at an 83 out of 100, essentially, because I have Stay 22 on for the largest contentful paint. It like slows it down a little bit, and it's my homepage with a lot of images. But the whole thing on web page test is loading in 1.5 seconds. This is a site with a lot of plugins. I run a lot of tests on it. It's a very image heavy site and it is loading so fast because my theme isn't holding me back. And with Cadence, you don't have to be a designer or even hire one. You can go to their starter templates and then check them out ahead of time to see what vibes with you. There are premium templates that you can only get if you have an upgraded account, but they also have a lot of free templates that I think are really great. And you can always edit these to look however you want. These can just be a starting point, which is really helpful for people like me who are design challenged <laughs> and who need some help creating a website that's going to look really good for our audience. Best part is all of these are mobile optimized. Now y'all know me, I'm a function over fashion girly. So I actually care way more about the function than how pretty I can make my homepage, which is why I absolutely love cadence blocks. So y'all see me talk about this a million times, but I love using what's called a hooked element. So it's under appearance cadence elements, as long as you have cadence blocks pro, and then it can auto insert things on every page. Now, the one that I'm best known for is the affiliate disclaimer, where I will actually auto insert my affiliate disclaimer into every post ahead of time. That way it's on top of my content and it's not getting in the way of my actual text or what different um, like Google search crawlers are seeing as my first piece of text but you can also use it in different ways. So I've also used it to be able to highlight some different affiliates for myself. You can use these to put your, to like auto insert your email opt-in. There's so many cool things. Basically anytime you want to put something in multiple posts repeatedly, you can make a hooked element that'll automatically do it, which is so cool. And it can even auto insert within the post. And the blocks are just easy to use like as you're writing. So if I'm writing and I hit enter, it's going to create a new block. 
but I can also just hover and create one. And then you have basically unlimited options of things that you can make that usually you would need to be coding. So you can see all of these options over here, like a table of contents, a dynamic list, so many things that allow you to add different design elements that are actually like really good for your audience. One of my favorites is the image advanced. When you use the advanced image, let's just add an image in very quickly to show you then you can actually make the alt text dynamic. And that means that the alt text will change um, in the media library automatically and update across your website. This is really helpful if you've been a little bit lazy with your alt text in the past and you wanna like kind of auto add it. Cadence also comes with dynamic content. Many of us will have seen this little like silo and you don't click on it, click on it. We're gonna do it today. <laughs> and here you can basically auto insert anything that you want where it's going to pull something from basically like meta, I guess, like the meta data, I think that's a term, um, to auto insert it. So if I put like current year and add the dynamic content, it'll take a second and then it's going to put it. And you'll see it has these double lines under it. It's pulling that today is 2025. So this is one of those options for if you have um, a year in your title, if you have a year somewhere and you know it's gonna need to get changed, you can use this and it will auto adjust it for you. Now, many of us have reusable blocks and things that are auto inserting, and then they kind of suck because they're not actually referencing the existing content. Well, with dynamic content, you can actually make it address the existing content, which is really cool. So for example, um, maybe you want to end this with kind of a related post block. You can start with rather than like read more about generic nonsense, um, want more like, and then we can come here to dynamic content and we can click post title. It's going to be current post and then we can add dynamic content and then we can keep writing. You can then make this into a reusable block of any sort that you can auto insert wherever you want and it's going to update to the post it's currently in, which is so cool. We also have something called conditional display. Have you ever like created something that's super pretty, but it's mainly made for desktop? And so maybe some part of it doesn't fully translate to mobile and you don't want it to show up there. Well, you can actually set it so that that thing won't show on mobile, but it will show on desktop. So in this case, if we come here to this section, I can click over into like this little, what is it called? An info box, I think, section, whatever we wanna call it. We're gonna go under advanced visibility settings, and then I can hide it on mobile. And then I can do the same for this one, just that way it's even. Let me make sure I have the whole section. Visibility, hide on mobile. There we go. And now if I preview it, I have to preview it on mobile, um, but it won't show. So these will basically be erased and we'll just move on to the next bit, which I think is really helpful because a lot of things that we design where we're like, it's so pretty on desktop, it sucks on mobile. <laughs> or the opposite could be true. And a really cool use for this actually is to have different CTAs for mobile versus tablet versus desktop, um, because sometimes it's like, okay, click to do this. Well, on mobile, we're not really clicking, we're tapping, you know what I mean? So you can actually change out the language to really reflect where your audience is at that point. But it's not gonna impact your view on other places, which makes it a lot easier. Conditional display just basically means you get control over how your audience are viewing it in every place. And as someone who has had to like code mobile responsive stuff before, I don't even want to know how hard it would be to code like actual display conditions <laughs> versus just mobile responsive widths. It would be too much. Now it's a click of a button. And because Cadence can do all of these things, it adds an updated date to your content. It has an author box and has like your author meta at the top. It is like making sure that it's adding proper schema. It can add a table of contents. There's so many things that are saving me a hundred thousand different plugins <laughs> where otherwise I would probably need at least 20 other plugins just to do what Cadence blocks are doing for me. So you are saving so much hassle and usually those things conflict and then break. With Cadence blocks, I've never had to deal with an issue. Setting up a website with Cadence is honestly just so easy, but you can also here customize so much. So you can create a global color palette that will work across your site. You're able to even adjust your links to make them more accessible for people. You can adjust all your button text and color globally, but then you can also adjust it per post. So you have like complete and total control over this. I will say, 
you probably shouldn't play around with the fonts too much. If you're starting to like upload a million fonts, that's not a great sign. Um, none of us are too good for Arial. <laughs> Just like don't be adding too many things that slow stuff down. And there are a lot of options, which means that like some people do get a bit trigger happy. Try to avoid that. You can also completely customize your header and you can even make different headers for different pages. You can see we have conditional headers for different places. You can also do a conditional footer. You can adjust all of your posts and pages layouts. Um, you can go through and add schema for your social, which is huge because search really cares about who you are here and all over the web. So being able to add it here so that it understands that you here, Nina Clapperton here, is the same as Nina Clapperton on Instagram because like someone else could have the same name. <laughs> and they even have um, some performance here that are helping you optimize to do things like load Google fonts locally if you are a font theme, fiend, fiend, that's the word I'm looking for. But all of this makes it so easy to set up a site. And with the custom scripts, you don't even have to have any sort of like extra code snippet set up. You can just use this, which again, saves us so much extra effort and just like, that plugin's usually pretty lightweight, but you still have to like hunt for it and whatever. Here it's just built in. Basically Cadence is like having like a heavyweight builder, like Beaver Builder or Elementor without having those, like in the block editor. And typically the block editor doesn't have this much customization and this many amazing use cases for us, but it does with Cadence. There is a reason that I recommend it to everybody and that I have continued to use it even when I've tested other uh, themes to see if they were speedier, to see if they were like better to use. Even if they had like a leg up in one area, I never found one that I liked nearly as much as Cadence, which is why I've come back to it again and again. It's why I have a lifetime plan with them because I truly love this theme way too much. So for my DIYers out there, Cadence is 100% the best theme you can use for WordPress sites. It is easy, it will not give you a tech headache. And in fact, the only like quote unquote negative I've seen is that there are kind of too many options. You have to rein yourself back a little bit, but all of the options are very self-explanatory and they have really good support on their website to help explain it even more. If you're a blogger, a content creator, a small business owner, basically anyone building a website on WordPress, Cadence is the theme for you. It is customizable. It is also compatible with like WooCommerce. It is customizable and pat like compatible with Elementor too. I don't love Elementor, but if you want to use that for sales pages and stuff, like it still works. I would just put it on a subdomain. That way you're not slowing down your main site because Elementor naturally is a heavier code builder. Um, but it's compatible with everything. You can also put Cadence blocks on top of an Elementor theme, or I've seen people put it on top of Divi before. I don't think that's the best idea speed wise, but like functionality wise, the blocks work is all I'm saying. <laughs> um, and because they are so accessible and so customizable, their pricing is too. So if you want to get the theme and um, the blocks pro for a year, then that comes in one plan that's 169 per year, or you can just get their a la carte offer where you get to like just pick and choose whatever you want. So if you just want the Blocks Pro, you can just get that. If you just want to get the premium themes, you can just get that. It is one of these companies that like really make sure you are able to get what you want like, and you are able to only get what you actually need and will use. So. I believe those started about $69 at time of recording, but they have tons of different like variations depending on which ones you want and you get to just pick and choose. And I love that they give people that offer. Now it's not all sunshine and roses. Like I, I will never do a review that is hundred percent perfect because nothing is. Cadence is an amazing theme. You can still break it. <laughs> like that is still very possible. And I do find that because it's so easy, the most common break that I see happen is that people start playing around with like margins and padding before they understand them and then suddenly their site's all wacky. So I recommend doing a backup before you start doing like crazy editing changes to it if you don't know what you're doing but it does give you that ability to test and play with it. Um, and they have some animated stuff that personally, I'm not a fan of anything animated for speed or for accessibility, but you get to make that call. And ultimately like the point of this is that you are empowered. So I get it, but I would just say, be a little careful. And if you're gonna get any other starter templates, some of them are WooCommerce like pre-enabled. If you're not gonna use WooCommerce, don't add it. <laughs> that, that's the only other thing. <laughs> Thank you again to Cadence for sponsoring this video. It means a lot that like a company I have 
fangirled over for a number of years and been an affiliate for and shared a lot about reached out to me to do this because they know that speed is so important for SEO, that having a branded site is really important, especially now with Google search. You don't want some like slapdash WordPress 2025, like that base theme that comes with it. You want to be known as something. You want people to recognize your site and you don't wanna spend $400,000 on a designer to do it. You want to be able to customize it yourself. So I really love that they have this. I love that their starter templates are better than many of the ones on like Etsy and Creative Market that often aren't verified and then can mess things up. Um, so I really recommend giving them a try if you haven't already. And if you have, I probably told you to already and you listened, so good on you. I like that you had your listening ears on. <laughs> If you're ready to give Cadence a try, use sheknowsseo.co slash cadence with a K, W, P. That'll take you right to their website where you can check out all of their offers and maybe a secret special offer for you guys, but I'm, I, won't, I won't reveal things until you click. <laughs> so thank you again to Cadence. Uh, there's also a QR code on screen if you would prefer to access it that way. Link will be in the video below as well if you wanna click on it or there'll be one of the little info card thingies at the top. So tons of options. Go get Cadence. <laughs> Now, because today's video is all about changing your theme, I'm gonna link you guys to a video that I recorded a little ways back about how to use a staging site to change your theme without destroying your site. Um, it is the best option for you. It also lets you play around with things and test stuff. So I use staging sites whenever I'm trying to like figure out new brand colors, or I was actually, I literally just launched a site kind of like two weeks ago. It was like launched a bit earlier than that, but I was finishing it two weeks ago, did the entire thing with Cadence, and I was able to adjust all the colors, play with things, make sure it was mobile optimized, make sure like the little random bits I added <laughs> were all good, um, and without breaking the little bit that was live already, because <laughs> there was one post, that was it. So make a staging site, it's super, super easy. 99% of hosts do it for free. If they don't, there is a plugin that you can get for it. Um, and then you're gonna be able to edit your site without having any downtime, which can impact SEO. And if you have any questions about Cadence, please drop them in the comments. I'm always here to answer some questions. If you would want tutorials of any specific design element with Cadence, again, I'm not a designer. I'd say I'm like a functional designer, like I do things for function, um, or I just like learn how they work, but I don't make them the prettiest, let me know. I'm always down. Um, I just need to make sure that it's something that would actually help you guys. So have a great rest of your day and I'll see y'all around. Bye.